Hi, this is Canadian folk singer Jesse Ferguson, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial in my ongoing series on how to play simple folk songs, especially in the Celtic traditions, but also in the North American traditions. Uh, so today's topic is how to play Whiskey in the Jar, arguably the most popular Irish ballad, uh, Irish drinking song, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this time on guitar, if you prefer on mandolin, I'll also be posting a video to that, how to play it on mandolin. If you compare the two, you'll notice that the chords are exactly the same. Uh, they're fretted differently, obviously, because mandolin and guitar uh, have different tunings. Uh, but the strum patterns are exactly the same, identical. So it's very easy to move back and forth between the two, at least in the simple way that I do it. So, first things first, tune your instrument. Mine's tuned to basic concert pitch, so normal standard tuning. Um, this is going to be in the key of C, and uh, if you want to make it higher for, for your vocal range, you can obviously use a capo to slide that up the neck and play the same chord configurations. I'll put the lyrics and the chords that I use uh, in the description of the video, and you can follow along with those. You can also follow along with my full-length video of the entire song, which is on mandolin again, but uh, once you know the chords on guitar, you can follow along with that as well. So the chords used are C, A minor, F, back to C. So two of those for the verse, and then to G for the chorus, C, F, C, G, C. Again, the chords will be listed in the description box. Um, so, for the basic strum pattern, you can probably use different strum patterns to achieve uh, you know, similar results, uh, but the strum pattern that I use is a basic one that's used for many different folk songs and, and also other you know, rock and roll songs, country music, and so on. Simple, easy to play types of music, uh, on, especially on guitar. So it involves hitting the bass note of the chord. Now, for the guitar in C major, that's the E A string. <clears throat> so the A, and you're fretted on the uh, obviously the the third fret for the C chord. So it's down on just the bass note. Now this may take a bit of practice while you're strumming along quickly to say, oh yeah, where's the bass note for that for that chord? Uh, so just practice, practice, practice. You can every every chord has a bass note. G. C, A minor, also happens to be on the uh, A string. Uh, F is on the D string. So each one of those has a bass note, so you have to find that, and you strum down a good solid pluck on that. And then, so first things first, let's do the C chord. So it's down, and then on the other chord strings, not the bass note, the other strings, it's down again, then up, so it's down, down, up, down, up, that's one cycle, then again, down, down, up, down, up, 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 so practice that over and over and over again until you can get that the rhythm of it. Not just to be able to do that strum pattern, but to get a consistent rhythm out of it. So that it sounds consistent. Um, and you got the swing of it, as they say. So then you can speed it up. Then you can do the exact same pattern all through the entire song, basically. Then to the A minor. slowly. So C, A minor, F, back to C. So you do two runs through like that for the verse. And then you go to G, there 
was only once on the C, then to the F, C, G, C. So that's the whole song, all the way through, exactly the same, no changes. That's folk music for you. Very simple, easy to do, uh, repetitive. Uh, so let's run through it at full speed uh, with the singing. As I was going over the far-famed Carry Mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced me pistol, then produced me rapier, saying, stand and deliver, for I am your bold receiver. Wash the ring, dama two, dama ta. Whack for the daddy oh, whack for the daddy oh. There's whiskey in the jar. Then in between the verses, I just do the cycle one more time. I counted out his money and it made a pretty penny. Put it in my pocket. And I took it home to Jenny She sighed and she swore That she never would deceive me But the devil's in that woman And you know she tricked me easy Mushroom ring, number two, number two Back for the daddy-o Back for the daddy-o There's whiskey in the jar So you'll notice on the CGC I just do the On the bass note, down on the rest, to the bass note of the G, down on the rest, back to the bass note of C. So it doesn't do the full strumming pattern. So there is, I guess, a variation between the, the verse and the chorus in that regard. So sometimes when I'm doing it, I, uh, I pluck down on the bass note and I'm planting my fingers here. That allows me to keep my pick precisely where I want it to. I'm not just doing a vigorous strum from the elbow. I'm planting my fingers, two fingers, uh, the, the, the middle finger is sort of floating. My pick is held like that. Lightly on there, right below on the pick guard. That allows me to precise control over where that pick is. Down. So my pick is staying in between the strings. It's plucked the bass note. It's staying there ready for the next downstroke. Whiskey in the jar. Whiskey in the jar. Musher ring, dama two, dama ta. Whack for the daddy o. Whack for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. So you really land heavily on that bass note. If you had a bass player accompanying you, you'd be doing basically the same work that the bass player is doing. So maybe you might have a different strum pattern in a full band arrangement like that because the bass player would be doing that. Now I usually play solo, so it seems to work out all right. I'm basically doing the work of the guitar and the bass. So that's the song. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, undoubtedly, there are lots of different tutorials on YouTube you can consult for the same song. Um, and maybe some of them might be easier for you or in a key that you can sing more easily in. Now, if you don't like playing it in C, there are software programs you can, you can use on the internet that will transpose it for you, meaning that you can figure out how to play it in D. So I was going over the far famed Carry Mountains Met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I just played in C because that's the easiest one for me to sing it in. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for other videos in the series on tutorials. They will all be songs that I already have posted on my YouTube channel and that are in public domain in the folk traditions. Um, so if you have any requests within those parameters, then uh, feel free to put a comment down below. You can also check out my website and you can check out my tutorial on how to play guitar. If you don't know how to do that yet, or if you're just getting started, I have a whole, I think it's 30 minutes long, how to play guitar, how to get started, and so on. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.